Ended up getting a message from Jekka. Sorry, I missed you. Because we uh did, did a thing. So let's see what we can do about that. Which we really can't do a lot. <laughs> so I guess we go to a new game and we just continue for let's you know we've done the We've done just totally skipping him. We've done, you know, uh, blowing him off. Let's actually check out the... <laughs> As I drink my hot cider. The, uh... The tour with Crispin. No, 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 no. I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? Alright, so... Let's humor this school tour. So then my friend got the DLC, this downloadable content. It's like $10. Like, dude, kind of not worth it for the gun. Why are you talking to me about video games? <laughs> Just something, you know, uh, what, you don't like play video games or something? I'm a thin girl. Do I fucking look like I play video games? Oh, I'd rather no. play dead at a necrophilia convention. Ooh. Oh, well, yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. I know what? Did, did you hear about how Mountain Dew makes guys sterile? Yeah, from you and every other guy who reads the internet to try to be interesting. <laughs> ah, nice rolly backpack, you fucking four-eyed double dick-sucking bitch. Hey, stop kicking it. This backpack holds priceless reading materials. Oh, yeah? Like what? Like Bernstein bears make eye contact? Hey, what is this, fourth grade? It is home to some of my favorite manga books. Manga? What is it, like Asian or something? Japanese, thank you. Why Some you? of which go on to be very popular television shows. Wait, can't you watch half those on cartoon channels? Why the hell would you read it? Oh, uh, that's it. Dude, how do you care about anything this much? W what do you mean? Like, okay, he thinks your Chinese cartoon books are stupid. Why defend it? Stay out of this, you... you girl. Oh, now we have a new, uh... Double down the verbal abuse or watch him get beat up. Mm. Let's see what happens. I'll just let this play out. I should beat your ass for like an anime. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, do it. I'm bored. Yeah, do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't pull Duh. my hair. Oh, I broke his glasses. I got a split. Oh yeah, me too. I'm on probation. I'll catch you around. Well, aren't you running off with them? They're pussies. I'm not afraid to watch someone grovel in pain. Well, they're all just assholes. That guy's been making fun of me for liking anime since the sixth grade. Then just stop liking anime? But I can't do that. Anime is my favorite thing ever. My life. It is my How life. How are you emotionally invested in consumption? Are you trying to make anime? I don't get it. Kinda. I make fan art based on the works of Sento Takahashi. You know that anime will exist with or without you, right? No. Wait, what do you mean? Like, Senti Takamoki, whatever the fuck his name is. If you died, <laughs> he wouldn't Takamoki. care. He wouldn't even know. What's your point? How do you give a fuck about anything that doesn't give a fuck about you? Hey, in a translated newsletter, he said thank you to each and every one of his fans. That includes me. Oh, he writes in English? No, his fan club translated it from Japanese. That's my point. He can't even talk to you. You think he cares about you? Well, uh... Anyway, you want to stick to getting beat up over children's media? I'll leave you to it. Wait! Huh? What? Thanks for talking to me. Not many people are as nice to me as you are. That was nice to you? God damn it. Yeah, I'm Jeffrey, by the way. What's your name? Ugh, Nicole. Wow. Okay. Bye, Nicole. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, you look new. The lunch line's on the other end there. Huh? You're trying to find where the lunch line starts, right? You got here a little late, so it's pretty long now. Oh, fuck. For a sec, I thought everyone else was skipping, too. <laughs> Where'd you come in from? Like, just outside? 
there was this weird kid getting his shit handed to him. Like, weird how? I don't fucking know. Is he, like, talks about a bunch of dumb shit weird? Or, like, how can he afford someone to Adderall with a job at the shop and say weird? Um, first one. Oh, glasses, bull cut. That's Jeffrey. I don't think he's all there. Like, he's too socially awkward for the normal people, but too smart for the special eddies. Can I sit here? Yeah, sure. All my friends got put in a different lunch period. What's your name? I'm Nicole. I'm Jekka. Jekka? That's like, on your birth certificate? Short for Jessica, Avi. That's pretty punk for someone who dresses... so... Preppy? Yeah, my mom works corporate for department stores, so I get all this expensive stuff for free, but oh trust boy. me, I don't give a fuck. Cool, yeah, same. Hooray! Nicole! You ready for day two? Is someone gonna kill me day two? If so, absolutely. Why? What happened? Just like, waking up in general hurts, and I gotta deal with my brother who's still up from the night before eating a family box of anything. He can eat family-sized meals? How old is he? Like, 26. Okay, he just freeloads off around. my mom. Exactly. Is he- Do you know what- Yeah. Well- Good enough. Dude, fuck- I told you yesterday, if- How does it even- It'd be some weird shit, like, I- Isn't that- She's the only mom- Huh. So where are you headed? Alright, uh... I think I know what happens if we go to gym class, but we haven't gone to gym class. So let's go. Look, it's the first day. No funny guys, no comedians, no bringers of the ha ha, okay? Bringers of the ha ha. This gym class isn't last year's gym class. We're gonna really buckle down on physical fitness. I'm fit as fuck, I ain't buckling shit. <laughs> <laughs> Young lady, what's your name? Nicole. You want my phone number, too? <laughs> this is only the first class, Nicole. You won't be a problem all year, will you? No, sorry. Good. Now everybody better dress out every class. If you don't, it's a zero. Hit the locker rooms. I'll see you back here in 10. Locker room change. Gym sucks. I'm sitting out. Uh, gym sucks. So, gym class. Showing our education system is pure evil. Why do you talk like a cartoon? What do you mean? If I talked like a cartoon, I'd go, what's up, Doc? Uh, no, it's just this general, ha ha, I'm random cartoon channel talk. Have you ever watched television for adults? What? <laughs> do you mean like porn? No, just normal. Never mind. Huh, because I like some wild porn here and there. You probably couldn't handle it. Uh-oh. See if it'll actually tell you or time for a vicious reality check. Uh, <laughs> uh. No one cares, just stop. For a nerd, you're not too smart socially, huh? Hey, I'm just trying to have fun here. And I'm not a nerd, I'm a geek. There's a difference. Sorry, which one grows up to be a rapist, and which one grows up to be a pedophile? Ugh, you and everyone else at this school. I'm sick of being the butt of everyone's jokes. Dude, whatever. The blatant disrespect, snickering behind my back, fake love notes beating me up. Okay, really didn't need your life story here. Stealing my stuff, egging my house, blackmailing me, calling my mom at work and telling her I'm dead. They go that hard here? And hanging me from the bleachers with a rope weak enough to snap right before I choke to death. I'm sick of all of it, and I guess you ought to be on that list too, huh? <laughs> no way in <laughs> probably inevitable school shoot. What is it? Hey, what are you cripples doing? Finding new things to cut yourselves with? Uh, well, actually, this weirdo is just hitting on me. Can you believe it? Wow, Jeff, didn't know you liked girls. Who is this Jeff you speak of? The name's Jeffrey, thank you. Yeah, see? More of that cartoon-sounding shit. Uh -oh. You wanna stop talking to you or something? Yeah, make yourself useful and kick his ass for me. You're hot enough to listen to, sure. Uh -huh. Oh, please, no. Not in the face. My glasses are brand new. <laughs> Can't we just read some manga instead? Ooh. Hey, how you doing? Uh, just coping. Coping with what? Just the power I have as a girl. Okay. Did you come here from the feminist seminar? No, Jim. What happened? Like, okay, I pretty much just got the lacrosse kid to beat the shit out of the anime kid. <laughs> Lois, I wanted to watch. It wasn't much of a fight, honestly. 
Oh, did he do the nerd fight thing where he just hugged onto him really tight? Yeah, fine with missing that. Dude, it's not even the fight. Just, like, how I got it to happen. I didn't promise a date or sex or anything, and he just went with it. The way you're processing this is kind of scary, to be honest. What? You never manipulated someone before? No, I technically oh, do it all the time. I've just never verbalized it like that. Are we bad people? I don't know. I'm still just trying to process why he'd fist fight for someone he barely knows. Because you're pretty. Pretty what? Oh, you're just really pretty. But like that pretty? No way. If you're going to be one of those girls who fish for compliments 24-7, I'm going to find someone else to sit with. No, seriously, like, what are they worked up over? <sighs> You're cute, long flowing hair, and big boobs. Okay, I was fishing for compliments. Knew it. But seriously, like, why aren't we consciously using this to our <laughs> advantage? Using being pretty? It's called stripping. Strippings for women who never had the conversation we're having right now. Dumb bitches who are like, Wow, I'm wow. so helpful. You really think he's nice because he's into me? And that's like half my friends. Oh my god. What? No way. And then, and then, Oh no, I'm 26 and ran out of guys hitting me up. Life is so unfair. Well, does anyone <laughs> really run out of guys? You run out of good ones real quick. Oh yeah. So this new philosophy, unveiled manipulation. How long are you running with it? Till graduation? Till death. Hmm. Oh boy. All right. So now we're so back. So it's been a few months oh. since we moved. How's school going? Like academically or socially? Everything. Anything. Honestly, it's going pretty good. Oh, that's great to hear. I know moving schools can be hard. And if I cared, it absolutely would be. But mom. I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. Excuse me? <laughs> like, I'll put it like this. Anytime a guy asks for my company, asks me out, asks for anything, and I make decisions entirely for myself, not concerned with their feelings, there's no stress. Honey, that sounds a little mean-spirited, don't you think? Yeah, but what's the alternative? Being used to do shit? People, especially men, are the perfect pawns when you don't give a fuck about them or whatever they want. <sighs> I won't argue. I'll just hope you learn how to interact like a human being when you're a senior. So you're telling mm -hmm. me it's a requirement for women to be pushovers or sociopathic? What the fuck happened to feminism, Mom? Nicole, oh. I don't know any woman who actively considers feminism. We vote and work. It's just a fun thing to say. Okay, well, fuck feminism. I'm starting Nicoleism. Nicoleism. Yeah. yeah, the main concept is girls removing all the emotional attachment from anyone. Oh, I'm sure you'll meet a nice boy soon and you'll be all over this. How can I meet a nice boy when all men are just rapists and pedophiles? Is fucking Jeez. kids nice, Mom? This conversation is over. <laughs> she didn't want to hear any of that. Oh, we're in October. And so you see... The aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. Ahem. Dude, you really need that cough like that. It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Fast away, Gretzel Viral. He can't tell you what to do. I think we got to go down the, this road. The, the, the way this is going, I think we got to go down this road. Now nothing. Literally, go fuck yourself. How dare you? How dare you disrupt my lecture? It's disrespectful to me and your classmates. You can't trick anyone here into being mad at me when no one gives a shit about your class in the first place. Well, <laughs> how would you like a failing grade? How would all of you like a failing grade? Uh oh. I mean, I guess it's fine. It's an elective. Yeah, Mr. White, you can't keep us from graduating. You tell him, Nicole. Shut the fuck up, you finger skateboard bitch. Dude, I was <laughs> just trying to help. Yeah, you were trying something. How would you like a visit to the counselor's office? The principal's office? Hey, if you think not listening to you talk is discipline, then I'm gone. No problem. <laughs> Out. <laughs> no! <laughs> Whoa. Again, Nicole. Can we just pretend you said a lot of stuff so I can leave early? The principal ordered for you to be in this room for one hour. Well, I order no mayo at Dairy Queen, but you still see them slapping the shit on. <laughs> and what do you mean by that? How are you feeling? 
I'm saying if a whole company like them can't get my order right, then what's one guy like you? Mistakes happen. They can try again after the next soccer practice. I think we got a bit sidetracked here. No, not just sidetracked. I fucking derailed this shit. Talking out of turn <laughs> in class, bullying classmates, talking back to faculty. Is this really the legacy you want to leave here? Uh, shed some light on everyone else. It's high school, who gives a shit? Uh, there we go. Say that to all the guys who go here. It's like a co ed prison without tattoos. Do you think it's a tad irresponsible to point fingers at others when you're the one in question here? Aren't you Mr. Child Psychologist? Like, trauma and all that shapes who we are? Well, <laughs> yes, I have several degrees in pediatric psychology. What's your point? Every dude here is like a rapist or a drug addict or trying to turn you into a drug addict. Have you tried stopping the problem at its source? Mm. I understand some of the male students here can be problematic, but you can always get help from a teacher or- The teachers are trying to fuck me too. You're all psychotic. A few months ago, Mr. Burliday was really feeling up one of my friends. And just last week, the coach was staring down my shirt during push-up tests. I try to level with all my students, so can you really blame him? Some of your attire has been quite low cut here. Oh, Go wow. on. To be honest, I've had trouble looking away the entire time you've been here. You're a beautiful young woman. Are you kidding me right now? Where's the hidden camera? What show is this? What are you talking about? You're like acting for a prank show, right? I'm waiting for someone more attractive than you to walk in so I can pretend to laugh. Nicole, there's no prank here. Oh, so you're just seriously a pedophile. Awesome. Last year, did we ever have our little chat on social constructs? I'm leaving. <laughs> wow. So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. Mr. White acts like his class is so goddamn important. We can take pictures with a camera phone. Who even needs a camera camera anymore? Exactly. Wow. Many collectives get that so insecure when they realize uh, they can't age. stop anyone from graduating. Bitch, be happy anyone even took your class. It's an art course anyway, like doing your makeup's a huge step down. What's up, you whores? Wow. Hi, Kyler. You shit talking, Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. What do you want? All right, damn. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? It's October. No, her parents are like really rich. It's glass thin and everything. Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They got those four foot long syringe water gun things. What are you, 10? Whatever. Just a little fun on the side. <laughs> we'll pick it up, bitches. I've been here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. I've been here since third grade and haven't heard it. Nuh-uh. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious. How do you still brag about that? You're like the reason they have women's college. Okay, old news, whatever. You have invites <laughs> or not? Yeah. Me too. How did you get one? You haven't even been here that long. Because I have a nice face and I'm not fat. Okay, well, can I tag along with you guys? This weekend's going to be so boring if I can't go. I don't want to be responsible for you ruining the party, but I also don't want to be responsible for you crashing it out of roid rage. Nicole's choice. Fine. Nicole, I know I called you a whore like two minutes ago, but could you let me go with you just this once? <laughs> we don't hang out with rapists, and we could not we There we go. No, fuck off. Fine, be a bitch. See if I care. You're just mad you can't see us in bikinis this weekend. What are you doing? What? Don't get flustered like that. He's a rapist. Sex turns into violence overnight for those types. What, like choking and biting? That and jerking off while thinking about us suddenly turning into Jekka would look so hot with her organs gouged out. How do you know these things? I had a brother. I love he has you but had a brother. So what are you wearing to Kelly's pool party? Well, summer's over, so no more selling anything. Hello, girls. Going to a pool party in the fall? Yeah, well, I don't know, maybe. I can't find anything to wear for it. I could help you out with that. You sell bikinis? Of course not. But swing by my office later and we can take some measurements for the home ex sewing. That's no. Curve. We'll make sure it fits no. flawlessly to your every curve. Gee, thanks. I'll see you there, maybe. Have a good day at school. Did he just say your every curve? Yeah, is he allowed to say that? What are you guys freaking out about? I think the counselor might have made an advance at me. He literally asked you to go to his office, get naked, and be measured. Yawn, what else is new? What? You've gone here longer than me. How did you not notice? To be fair, he's kind of subtle about it. 
He's what I call a marathon pedophile. Wow. Sorry, but what the fuck is a marathon pedophile? He tries to make you question society's hatred of pedophilia before he actually molests you. Then you'll feel bad if you tell on him afterward. So he guilts you so he can make a routine out of it? Exactly. A predator that plays the long game. A marathon pedophile. That's like three levels worse than what I thought he was going to do. Why do you even want to measure you anyway? For a bikini to wear at Kelly's pool party, he'd have Home Eck make it. Home Eck? What are they going to make? A fucking felt bathing suit? I didn't say I was going to do it. But yeah, I'd probably fall apart after a lap in the pool anyway. Excuse me? You planned on swimming at a pool party? What do you do at a pool party? <laughs> Sit around and look cute. Same. God damn it! Why are they still using combination locks? The school's soft. No one steals shit anyway. You still aren't dressed? Yeah, they need thumbprint scanners or some shit. It's 2008. Isn't it the future by now? You're gonna be <laughs> late. No shit. Now, how many spins again? Nailed it! What the fuck? How'd you get in here? There's no lock on the doors. Saw it as a great opportunity for an A-plus in street photography. Did your cartoons tell you to do this? Ahem, <clears throat> anime? Why didn't anime tell you to screenshot a cam girl oh. in public or something? Oh, Nicole. If your brain was as big as your ample breasts, then maybe you'd understand. I'm sorry, do you think you're cool right now? You're a freak. Not even the sex fiend counselor wants to fuck you. Your petty insults will make the development of this photograph all the more satisfying. Cam girls are all cheap digital nonsense. I've captured your succulent figure on medium format oh, film. Hey, Every little shadow and highlight of your tantalizing midriff yucky. captured the way it was meant to be. If you're gonna sexually harass me, could you not talk like a cartoon character while you do it? I do what I want with my words. I'll also do as I please with this photo. No, come on, just throw the film out. I'm afraid I can't do that. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. Or maybe I could hang a giant poster of it out front, humiliating you the way you've humiliated me time after time. What? Because I called you a future pedophile in chemistry last year? Kate, <laughs> sorry. Now throw it out. You won't convince me otherwise. Huh. Wait, was I at the wrong locker? <laughs> Yeah, they really need a lock on that door. Thanks, hindsight. So what the fuck do I do right now? This is gonna ruin my life. Why can't you tell the principal again? Cause that's fucking embarrassing. Miss Lynn, that mean boy has a picture of my titties halfway out. Yeah, they'll probably find a way to make it your fault anyway. I still can't believe he shot it on medium format film of all things. What kind of pretentious dipshit jerks off to film prints? <laughs> Our parents in the 70s? Wait, like... Film film? Like it needs to be developed? Yeah, he said he was getting it developed at tomorrow's film club. Break in that bitch. No lab, no developing. If it's some weird format, there won't be another one for miles and miles, right? Destroying the dark room. Would I get expelled for that? If you go in after everybody leaves, no one needs to know. Just wear gloves or something so you don't leave fingerprints. Gloves? If I have any. Will you go with me? No, it's not my ass on film. Come on, I'd help if it was you. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't, but... God damn it. Is it really the end of the world if people see you in your underwear? You look good naked. Yeah, exactly. If I had weird tits and a gut, it'd be classified as an artistic nude. But if you're hot with no clothes on? It's porn. <sighs> Fine, I'll drive you over there, but I'm not stepping a foot inside that place. Let's go. Oh boy. Wow, I am creative when it comes to destroying things. Are you done yet? Yeah, just about. This should buy me enough time to swipe Jeffrey's camera and ruin the negative. Hey! Do you have permission to be here? Oh no. Uh, if I said a teacher told me to meet here for a date, would you go after him or just blame me for that too? A date in your pajamas. Did he tell you to destroy thousands in school property too? Look at this place. Come with me. What? It was like this when I... Sleep walked in here. You wear gloves to bed? Oh boy. Well, so much for Jekka's stupid fucking glove idea. To this day, I genuinely believe sleepwalking would have worked if it wasn't for wearing those. <laughs> anyway, I got statewide expulsion. Yeah, I didn't know it was a thing either. Mom refused to move again, forced me to get a shitty job, and hits me to relieve her feelings of disappointment. Oh. Deep fryer leaving craters on my face is bad, but anyone from school seeing me is a suicidal experience. Wow, the camera really does add 10 pounds. Fuck off. 
And that's it on that one. Okay. We got a new message. It's the same number. Who is this? When I leave, either for the day or forever, it is always a strange scene. They look and I look away. <laughs> they ask for eye contact. When they wouldn't show me common decency when we were forced in a room together. I go back in a car when in the car when I see someone from there. And I think about killing them. I think about killing a lot of people. I think about strapping them to a chair and beating their face to a pulp. For the woman in bat. I've decided she doesn't deserve beauty. Okay. So that's not creepy at all. But so. So far we have found three different endings. But now I need to figure out where we're going to go from here. You know.